it's a funny old street. It can do strange things to you if you stay on it long enough. I mean, for example, I was working late one night when I had like the strangest of things, like a, almost like a dream. And I, I know, I'll tell you, and see what you think. Let's have another drink. The old tattoo shop had things in the window that caught Granny's eyes, and patterns so bright and clear. But she thought to herself, Are they too dear? She was about to turn and take her leave when she felt someone grab and pull at her sleeve. It was Tattoo Bill, and he said with a grin, We're having a sale, won't you come in? <laughs> <laughs> While she still did hesitate, Bill said, That just you wait. The likes of you, it's free today. Someone like you doesn't have to pay. To an offer like this, her joy she couldn't hide. She pointed to the door and said, Let's go inside. The thought of entering the shop filled her with trepidation. Her body was covered in perspiration. <laughs> it was something she'd wanted for such a long time. She thought, Now I'm getting one for free. It seems like a crime. Outside the shop, were some leather-clad bikers. She went to shove her way through before they could put on the frighteners. But one of them turned and looked her away. He said, Hello, Granny, what are you doing here today? <laughs> it was her grandson, John. Tall and lean. Always turning up when he's not wanted. If you know what I mean. I'm guessing that's a two. Bill said they're free. Bill then added, You can have two or even three. Why did she don't have to pay? John asked Bill in a surly way. Bill replied with a joy he couldn't hide. Just look at their skin. It's so old, so crinkly. I've always wanted a tattoo of crinkly. You won't be able to stand. She decided to go in. She selected a dragon and sat in the chair. All the bikers silently stood and stared. Pain in his face, just like a blunt blade. But although it hurt dreadfully, not a sound was made. When it was done, the bikers all cheered. Hooray! You want a bus now? She said with a grin and playfully gave her a tap on the chin. Hooray for granny! Hooray for granny! They shouted as one, but none looked so proud for her grandson John. That's me, Grant. <laughs>